Alrighty, good morning. Welcome back to Beans Guys Fitness. I'm gonna go take a walk and retrieve my log. And I was thinking about chopping another one down. I'm just not sure if I'm going to have the energy for it. Got my delivery from Home Depot for the bathroom. Where the boards were damaged. I can still use it, but they're gonna do an exchange, so they're gonna do a 90 mile round trip. I was trying to hint towards them. Possibly if they just gave me some money off, I'd be willing to keep the board, but the young man was not catching the hint. So I left the board over there the log from from last week now I'm gonna go and so now I'm gonna go and grab it and carry it on to the shed so I want both hands to do the carrying so I'm gonna leave the camera here on the stand I got it up over there at one point, the Bluetooth will probably no longer pick me up. So I'm almost better just hanging it right here. I'll be back. Carrying along I go. So I got closer to the house. And now let's carry it towards the shed. Now I'm not going to keep it in the shed. Let me pause this or turn it around. There, I can't do either. So 
right now I'm just going to lean it against here because I want to take it to my buddy's place and cut it into probably about a 3 by 4 and let it dry out during the winter. So now I got that done, I'll take a quick jaunt to the pond. Now the sunny days, but the temperature is decent. I wouldn't call it warm. And then I want to probably check on a, my trail cams. I had dumped some chicken out. And I'm going to check and see if it got eight. And if so, then my trail cam should have picked up who was eating it. I'm thinking probably a cat. But you never know. I also got one by the deck. Let's see what's eating my cat's food. Which I also think is just another cat. So there's the habitat pile. Pond is not as busy as it used to. <laughs> Everything is probably headed south for the winter that's going to go south. But like, see the ice broke free again, so we'll get some of that water, oxygen added back. So do I, dilemma, do I take it as a relaxing day because tomorrow I am going to go and do a big bench day in Shorewood. I've been sleeping longer, so I got home at regular time last night and took my magnesium and glycine. Oh, here we go. I got to take this call. So, how's the store calling? Still wanting to exchange the piece. So here is where I put the chicken. There's my trail cam. So I am going to take the chip out of the trail cam and see who my likely suspect is. taking it out. It's a dirty little chip. And if I dropped it, well, it would be no fun. <laughs> so, I'm going to check and see what's on here. See who the culprit is coming around. Acquiring minds want to know. And then I may do a talk out at the pond afterwards. We'll see. Somebody is wanting to come inside. But it's warm out here, kitty kitty. Yeah, I know. Me in, Daddy. I said, I don't think so. I don't think so, but I can give her some petting. Let's see if she'll go. Usually petting is good. Lined up well. Yeah. I got my little chip that I put in the pocket. And move this. Put that buddy kitty. Daddy's over here. So it's a nice still day. Cloudy. Uh, but warm, warm enough for me to go in the woods if I want to, but and I think it will. But uh, 
I think it'll just be to retrieve that second log. And I might do that in about a about an hour or so. So I'll just kind of wait around the delivery. I do have another delivery coming though. I just now remember that the appliance is just a microwave they're delivering on a different truck. So, but I did have Home Depot call me back. And they said, oh, it was the other location. They're just down the road from you. I said, no, they're, they're 45 miles down the road just like you are. <coughs> well, it looks like they just want to come out and exchange a piece of wood, which will probably look as bad as the other piece of wood. Oh, there you go. Number, I have food. So let's go and check and see. Let's see what my camcorder's got to show. All right, today was nutrition day. Time to get a lot of calories in. Playing a little catch up after uh, working all the overtime. So, you know, how do I determine if my calories are not where I want them to be? Well, the scale tells me. So if I start dropping weight, I know I gotta kick the calories up. If I start putting on a lot of weight, I know I gotta cut them down. But you know, a lot of times my body is just telling me it was, it was having the need for protein. So I posted uh, back on my Instagram, which I had kind of left off for a while and I'm starting to get a lot of feedback from it. And a lot of people are saying, well, I've been stuck at a certain weight. Now, sometimes it's just going to happen, you know. So, you know, sometimes you've reached, you know, maybe where your your potential is, or you got comfortable with it, or it's just an equilibrium. It's you're putting that type of work to get into that type of level, and it's all good stuff. So, just because you know your your bench may not be where somebody else's is, it, it doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. First of all, genetics, how people are built, and age has, has things to do with it. But if you want to bench heavy, you've got to bench heavy weights, low reps. That's all there's to it. So, uh, had a gentleman my age, you know, he says he's stuck at 185. Well, I asked him to send me over his routine, looked like he had a pretty good routine. He warmed up at 135 and then did New one, text message from 160 one, eight, and then one, he did five, uh, three, seven. <laughs> not what I wanted. And then he did 170 and then he did a, a set of five at 185 so he's not stuck at 185. That's as heavy as he's lifting. He obviously can do more than 185 if he can do a set of five if I was reading them right so I said they had a set of 195 by three to it see what happens in a month what he may find out is now he can get seven reps at 185 so you know you got to kind of experiment with it but then again how was your nutrition well he's doing intermittent fasting to cut back on his belly okay well, you can't lose weight and gain strength People will tell you you can, but uh, not really. You know, unless you're just severely overweight and you're starting to put muscle, yes, you will. But if you're already in shape, I mean, when I drop weight, I drop strength off my bench, and the two go hand in hand. There's no way around it. You know, people say, well, I can get you to lose weight and gain strength. Yeah, initially, if you haven't exercised before, and you do have a lot of extra weight, you can. But if you've been working out a lot and you're trying to, to bulk your strength, you have to bulk your weight. So you actually saw a picture and uh, looks over to my build. I'm probably a little more developed around the chest and shoulders than he is, but I just suggest to try that. We'll see if he does. I told him also I got a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. We'll see if he does that too. But just because you're stuck at a weight doesn't mean anything. As long as you continue to do that weight. You know, 
That means you're maintaining your strength. A lot of times, maintaining is a good goal, especially when you're older. You're trying to maintain your strength, let alone lose it. You lose it by not exercising. And the longer you don't exercise, the more you lose. And what you'll notice is over time, you know, the size of the muscles diminish, you know, the size of the belly increases, and it's just, uh, it's not a good direction to go. You want to make sure that you're always exercising. But no, you don't have to be getting stronger all the time. Maintaining your strength is a wonderful thing, too. Some of us just want to get stronger, or some of us want to get back where we're at. But if you're okay with, you know, hey, I bench 185, and I've been benching 185 for the last four years, and I just want to stay at that level, that's a good goal. Nothing wrong with that. That'll keep you in good shape. And I would encourage that you continue to do so. But the rest of nutrition got to come along with it. You know, and when you're talking about nutrition, I'm talking about eating good food, high in protein. Also talking about vitamins and minerals, natural supplements. You know, these things will lead to a healthier life. And once you get in the habit of exercising, it's easy to stay in it. Because if you don't, then you're kind of you know, mad at yourself. I mean, I still went for a small walk today and carried that log. You know, but uh, to me, it was still kind of a rest day, which I will make up for tomorrow. And you need rest days. Just don't want to tie too many of them in a row. So with that, I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, stay safe, stay alert, stay healthy, and just get in the gym and lift. <laughs>